Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be opening up a 1989 NBA Hoops box that has 36 packs. And this one that I managed to get is actually kind of a little dinged up and not in entirely sealed condition. I know the packs are all sealed, at least that's what was said in the description of the, the listing. But I guess I'll find out um, what I'm going to get out of these uh, packs, if they've been searched or not. But I'm going to start counting them. Should be 36, so I guess I'll go ahead and just do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so as you can probably tell, these are kind of easy to see the first card and like back card. So I guess those are maybe the only, I guess that's the only way you can find out what cards are in this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we got 36. That's good news. So let's um, just go ahead and see what we can pull out of these. So the main cards we're looking for, are obviously Michael Jordan, uh, both all-star and regular, uh, David Robinson, uh, rookie card, and maybe Phil Jackson. I don't know if there's any other cards that actually um, are worth that much other than other than the cards that I just mentioned but um, so let's, let's shoot for the David Robson and uh, Jordan all right I'm gonna try to figure out how to open these packs without having to use a cutter first oh that was pretty easy okay so first pack See what's in this. Blair Rasmussen. There's going to be a lot of these guys that I've never heard of before, or I just simply don't know because this is way back in the day. Why sounds so as a coach? Tom Chambers, Thurl Bailey. Yeah, none of these names are ringing any bells. LaSalle Thompson, Glenn Rivers, Mahal Lane Beer, Ken Norman, Jerome Lane, Paul McKeskey. Mike Jeminski, Ron Sakely, Cotton Fitzsimmons. That's a pretty interesting name. And a Jordan first pack. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice card. I have to look at the exact condition later, but I think the centering looks really good on this one. Not too bad. First pack. Wow. Great way to start. Put it in the put it in the sleeve. Alright. Starting with Jordan. And then uh, John McCleod. Okay. So I know you can get multiple Jordans and multiple of the same card from these packs if they're in the same box, but let's see how lucky I am. Okay, I think what I'm going to start doing is, because I'm not going to recognize a lot of these guys, I'm just going to fly through these cards until I see someone that I recognize and maybe pause. Jim Paxson, sounds familiar. I know that guy, or that guy, or that guy. Reggie Lewis, Purvis Short, Jerome Kersey, John Shasky. Okay. Yeah, also I'm trying not to make this video super long because there's 36 packs. And yeah, it is what it is. All right, pack number three. No 
Nope, no one in this one either. Pack number four. Oh, there's a lot of coaches in these. Oh, I thought it was, thought it was someone else. Mark Jackson. Don't know who that is either. All right. Magic Johnson with his eyes closed. Great card. Worthy, Reggie Williams. Well, I guess it's a magic card. I'll put that one aside, even though I'm not really expecting much from that one. Reggie Williams. I keep seeing all these red cards. I can't even lodge one. Not too bad. Keep thinking they're uh, Jordan cards. Wouldn't that be great? Okay. I lost track of what pack number this was. Probably can't all the other ones, but I don't know if it matters that much. Nope, nothing in this one. And I'm con considering putting timestamps on the video, if I can figure out how to do that. So I guess skip to the hits or something, but maybe I don't really need to. Maybe people actually enjoying seeing all the cards that come out of these packs. Yeah, there's so many of these players I've never seen in my life, never heard of. It was just a different era. A lot of coaches too. Charles Barkley. That's one worth noting. Hmm. I've seen a lot of repeat cards. It seems like some of these packs take like a same order when they're manufactured. Maybe they put the same kinds of cards together. Patrick Ewing, All Star. Irvin Magic Johnson, closed eyes, and Spud Webb, guy who can hop to the moon. Another Akeem. Another Reggie Miller. All right. Nothing of that one either. This one opened opposite direction for some reason. Come on, Robinson. Oh, Tyrone Bogues. Patrick Ewing. I think a lot of these guys that I'm starting to recognize have seen in Space Jam growing up. I don't think I know them outside that. Remember that scene where Charles Barkley was like, I think it was after like the aliens get them or something. I can't remember exactly, but oh, there he is speaking of the devil. Um, he goes to like a basketball court to try to play with like these people on the street or something. And then he's just like, it's like he's never played basketball before and they just tell him to get off the court. It was, I think I remember being a pretty sad scene.
because you were Charles Barkley at that point and really good basketball player and you can't play anymore and you try to play with these random people and they tell you to get off their court. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty sad. Man, first pack magic is great. Like we got that Jordan on the very first pack, but if you don't get anything else for the rest of um, the break or whatever box you're opening, it kind of just gets really slow. Isaiah Thomas, I think it's the first time we pull him. I think we're halfway done. Three of those closed eyed Magic Johnsons. Okay, think about whoever is designing these cards when they see an image like that. What goes through their head in terms of, yeah, I definitely want to put this on the card? I mean, I've seen a lot of Panini cards recently that do that as well, especially for maybe not so hyped up sets or sports cards. Uh, I think it happens a lot with uh, probably soccer, soccer cards that isn't like Prism or anything. They just choose like the worst images sometimes, like the guys clearly like trying really hard to breathe because he's running or something or his eyes are closed. Like this Magic Johnson one and I don't know, like can they not just find any other image and use it? So that like basically destroys the the card. Like is it, especially if it's a good player, and it's like a relatively like hard to get card. If, if you find it and the image just looks terrible, then no one really wants to collect the card. Another Isaiah Thomas, Chris Morris. Well, I'm starting to feel some material build up from these cards. Probably the old material that we used to make them out of. Another team of large one. Yeah, now I'm starting to, to really notice this pattern of there's a lot of similar cards in like the same order in a lot of these packs. Jordan or at least one Dave Bryson out of this. Come on, MJ. I see a Thomas. Patrick Ewing again. All right, I think we're three quarters away. Done.
Yep, same layout as the other pack. Exactly the same layout, I want to say. Got all three of those guys. Same order. So that means we probably will get a Michael Jordan. Another one, at least. Charles Barkley. Ooh, that one centering is really bad. Look at that. I'm starting to see print lines on these. Some print lines you can like clean off. I think it's just like the material from the machine or whatever, but some print lines are just there forever. Uh, I think something happens when they print the card where it just presses too hard or something that the line just like is engraved. It's not like a, I don't say engraved is the right word because it doesn't cut into the card. It's just whatever material kind of touches the surface leaves like a big, if you've seen print lines or factory lines, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's basically just, you can't see it until you tilt it in like certain light. And it's basically a line that runs across the entire surface of the card, whether it's up, down, or right to left. All right, we're almost done. Almost thought that was Habib for some reason. Yeah, I know it doesn't make sense, but quick glance. Saw the beard, saw the buzz cut. What is Habib doing here? Oh. That Orlando gets me every single time. This is like the beginning. Last four packs. It's really cool to see all the team logos change throughout the years. I'm just being reminded of how different they used to look back in the day. Jordan, you gotta be in one of these. I mean, I'm still pretty happy that I got one because I've heard that some people have just not gotten any, any Jordans from a pack. You get like Larry Bird or something instead. Last two. Last one. Come on, MJ. Any day now. And that's it. Fortunately, we only got one Jordan. Actually, one hit, I want to say. Didn't get anyone else. But... Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.